Now let's look at potential highway factors. These include sharp curves, steep downhill grades, soft shoulders, berms, mounds, and curbs, narrow driveway entrances or exits, and limited visibility areas that can reduce eye lead time for turns or hills. It's important to survey and identify high-risk sections of regularly traveled routes. If at all possible, survey routes to unfamiliar destinations in advance to identify and avoid high-risk areas and proceed cautiously until you know and are comfortable with the route. Remember, you're the professional on the roads you travel. If there's a road design condition that makes you feel uneasy, report it to your company. Changes in dispatch or additional warning signs at locations like that could help prevent rollovers. You see this sign? This information is not for you. It's for passenger cars traveling in good weather. Fleet safety experts say that when you enter this curve, you should drop your speed at least 10 miles per hour below what you see here. We all know that long downhill grades can lead to excessive speed. So, are your brakes properly adjusted? Have you shifted to a lower gear? The only acceptable time to deal with downhill grades is before you start down them. Don't rely on the feel to estimate your speed. Remember that the larger the vehicle, the slower the driver thinks it's moving. So always check your speedometer before you enter curves, ramps, or downhill grades. And remember, newer trucks don't have the same engine retarding as older models. Be sure to set your jake brake properly. Be aware of the shoulder conditions on any roadway. Dropping off onto a soft shoulder may cause the outside wheels to sink and trip the whole unit on its side. Tripping happens a lot on entrance or exit ramps that have a curb on the inside of the curve. When you're traveling a little too fast, the tanker wheels will track inside of the tractor wheels. So even though the tractor takes the turn just fine, the trailer tires may swing in a little closer. They'll hit the curb and trip the unit. A good rule of thumb is to allow about three to four feet of clearance between the tractor's tires and the curb. That way, the trailer tire should be clear of the curb, even if off-tracking occurs. An improper recovery can lead to a reverse tripping condition. Let's say you go off the roadway and you try to bring the tractor back onto the roadway too quickly and at too fast a speed. This could trip the unit when the tires hit the shoulder berm or the pavement on the return. Wide intersections may cause you to be too confident when you're turning. Always gear down and slow down before the turn. Generally, you're taught to square the turn at slow speeds to reduce the impact of off-tracking. But loads with the high center of gravity have to be driven differently through intersection turns. You should round the turn to make sure the trailer doesn't have a sudden change in direction. Cutting short on a turn is one of the most common errors. Be aware of soft berms and narrow culverts. Wet weather may soften berms and narrow culverts may allow the rear tandem to slip off the driveway into the ditch. And that could overturn the unit. When traffic conditions allow for it, making a left turn into a driveway is safer than making a right. It gives the rear tandem more room to track the tractor's path. 